Hey Lego friends, JSTAR here, and today I'm going to show you how I light my buildings. Okay, so today we're going to light the <laughs> Lego Grand Emporium. Now this is my mashup between the Grand Emporium and the Lego store. I have uh, fully fitted out the interiors uh, of this building with the with Lego building. And we just, we're going to light it up today. So I'm going to just go take us down to the first floor to start us off, but I'll show you these first. This one has my favorite, the pick a brick wall there. And then I took the pieces out of that, but that's a build station. And then a bunch of uh, Lego product. Yes. Okay, so let's just put this out of the way. And we're gonna start over here. Now, so a couple things that I'm gonna do is, let's see if I can turn this down. Okay, good. Obviously we need lights on the interior and then there's these exterior lights here, which need to get a light bulb, I think. And I think there should be a light underneath this awning, but that's not there. It's actually the bottom floor or the bottom of this uh, second floor. So, and the lights for the first floor will be on the second floor. So really on the first floor, all we have to worry about is getting these four uh, sconces lit and getting a magnetic connector somewhere on here. And so the uh, the sconces, we should be lighting with uh, something like this. Let's see. So this is a, a bunch of little of LED lighting. Now I got this on Timu, and I believe this was, I'm not sure. So it's 30 centimeters. Um, just about a foot long and that's what we're going to run to the um, things. Now here's something, let's just take one off and look at it. So how do we get them inside the lamp uh, and hidden well? So the lamps have this little thing, the little sprue. I have a one eighth inch hand drill bit. And basically I put it up inside the, uh, the brick, whatever I'm drilling. And then you, you put pressure on with the back of your hand and then twist it with your fingers there. And it goes through pretty easily. Okay. And that's through. And then uh, you want to kind of keep twisting it as you pull it back through and that just cleans up the edges. And now that it's actually the size of a pinhole. So if this had been a hollow stud hole, that would be the right size as the Lego hole. Anyway, so now you can take that tiny 0.8 millimeter plug and push it through there, hopefully. Why is it not going? There it goes. And then because that's a, it's a flat LED, I just kind of bend it back a little bit. Okay. Bend it back a little bit and then it won't pull through the, the one eighth inch opening just in there. And so now I'm going to carefully, these, these, um, wires are so tiny. I'm going to kind of push the wire to the edge so it gets some slack and then like close it down around it just so it doesn't clamp it so hard. Okay. And then there is the light. Now I should probably turn on a power pack so we can see that. Hold on. 
Okay, so this is your basic power setup. And let's see here. So you've got a USB with a, it's a 50 centimeter cord um, with the tiny little eight millimeter plug, okay? And then you have uh, an extension board, okay? And you see the tiny little holes in the extension board. And that merely plugs in, and you can plug it in anywhere, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna plug that in there. And then so the USB just plugs into uh, your USB port. And then your lighting that you just rigged, your lighting, plugs in to that and voila. Okay, so now we have our little light ready to go on the front of our building. And oh, let's move the utopia area for a second. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, position the lights where I want them first and then figure out how to hide the wires second, okay? We wanna have everything there and then uh, And one thing you want to do is you want to plug them in at every step of the way just to make sure you haven't pinched a line, disconnected something. Just check them. Why can't I see this thing? Oh, there we go. All right. Cute, cute, cute. And because this one has a little indention in the stud, you can drill it the other way. And I'm just putting pressure on both sides. Try to do it as fast as possible. There we go. And you can see the, the plastic come out. Your floor is going to be very dirty. Again, just be very gentle with these little wires. And here, I'm actually gonna untwist this a bit just so that they're both laying flat against each other. So there's less that has to be mashed between the stud and the receiver, the anti-stud. Okay. Okay, now we have that, and that is our four front lights lit. And actually, I'm going to play with this one because the light doesn't look totally cute. I just used a little screwdriver to adjust the light inside there because I gave it up. Left a little wiggle room, leave a little wiggle room. Okay, I can't see right now. Okay, there's that. 
that. Okay. And that's our lighting for the first floor. Now, you just have to figure out, oh, and I should just say, somewhere up here, and I'm guessing it's just going to be on this side, we're going to need one of these modular connectors. And this is from Bevan's Bricks. And the way these work, it's very simple. You have two pieces. Okay. You have one with studs on the top and one that's a tiled bottom and they're going to go like this. So this one is going to be on the top of this with this tiled flat edge and this one is going to be um, attached to the bottom edge of the, the next floor and then these little connectors connect to make the the lighting continue when you have it when when you assemble the floors now the only thing that i need to tell you here is the wire should run both the same way so um i mean it makes sense like you're running the wire into the building uh it won't work if it's like that it's a positive and negative issue so just you want to have them like that, run them in like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire this onto this edge um, somewhere in here. I don't know if I want to do it at the back or here. But then I'll match it on the on here wherever it hits to to connect. Okay, so let's try doing that. Okay, so I figured out if I put the extension board down here, then I should have enough of this uh, cord from each light to go <laughs> to go down and over to ports on here and then this can go here and go straight down to it and we'll have enough stuff so I'm going to replace this section of tiling with this guy and I'm actually going to put it on the back edge like one in and then when I start playing with it I'm going to put a I'm going to put a brick with a hole in it here, a Technic brick, and let that run into the, um, into the wall, kind of as a smooth transition, hopefully, hopefully. So now we're going to start doing that. Now it's going to be, I'm going to kind of tear apart this whole thing and drill these pieces and then put it back together. Okay. Oi. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what I'm going to do on this first column. And I decided let's take that out and then let's take the column out. Now, here we have wall behind this column. These columns over here are exposed and the um, the what do you call that? Rotating revolving door uh, hits them. So you can see on the back of this, they have, it has open studs. I'm still going to drill through this and run the studs inside the bricks instead of just like pulling the wire back here and letting it expose, let it be exposed. Oh, how easy would that be? Because I want you to, to see how it would be if we were, lighting it somewhere else and not just this very specific building that has these exposed bricks. If it were just a plain wall, I'd have to drill through all those bricks to get down there and then shoot it across. Now, the first thing I want to look at is 
where I want the wire to go. And here, so we have the edge of the of the mills plate with the Technic, the one by Technic things here. So I want it to be in the, the second run. So I know there's an open channel all the way to the back of the, the plate. So I'm gonna run it down this side one. And that means, so I'm gonna start like this. Let's see, how do we wanna do this? Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> so let's unplug this first of all. Okay. And I wanted to go underneath think we'll just let that hmm, pinch there. I kind of want to remove some of that to give it an easier, easier life, whatever you call it. Okay. So let's just try that and see what happens. If I kind of angle my thing, <laughs> oops. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's hold this tighter. Okay. If I kind of angle my drill in, and I'm giving a lot of pressure here. Okay, then. That's good. Now, now I have that little divot that I can run the cord through into the column of bricks. Oh, let's see, that's not going to pinch. That's going to be great. Okay, so now I just have to go down these bricks and I'm going to drill out the right-hand side one. Okay, Oop, shouldn't be showing you. Okay, and you get the little hole. And now this is gonna run through here. And then we're gonna just align that so it's in there. And kind of fit it in nicely. There we go. So now the cord goes directly into the building and then comes directly out of the brick on the bottom. Now you'll be able to see that running through the back of these, but again, if you were just using regular bricks, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't see that. They'd just be inside the the bricks. Um, drilling the right hand side. Always double check which one you're drilling. I drilled so many holes wrong. I mean, Lego bricks you can usually reverse them, but once they're strung, once they're strung on the wire, if you got if you've got one wire one brick misplaced you know along your whole run then it's not going to piece back together so i do like to drill individually and then thread it on and put it together like that so that you just go step by step and don't make a mistake okay Oh, now and on this one on the bottom, we have a one by two and that, so and that's the end.
Now, I will say that's the whole column, and you can see that cord running inside there. These um, kinds of bricks are actually great, and the, all the uh, snot bricks with um, studs on the side have holes, so you can feed cords in and out of them. So, like this, if you didn't want to go into a base plate, if you don't have a, a mills plate, this could actually just pop out of there. Oh, can you see that? That could just well <laughs> come out of there instead of going through the bottom. And then now you've got your lead where you need it. And it's not pinched by a cord. Like that's the basic reason for putting it. Well, two reasons. You want to hide the cords. So that looks cool. And then you want the least amount of like pinching the cords as you go along the way. So let's do this one little brick. So uh, these are very fun. Now, you see that little divot? It's very easy just to kind of line, just stick your screwdriver in that hole, line it up, and then go in. I'm giving a lot of pressure just to push it through. You might want to wear gloves, uh, but then once you get it through, then just kind of spin it and pull it through. <laughs> And then you can see the inside and this side. Okay. And then that's the, that goes in there. But that's the bottom of the column. And now that we have the, the column complete, I just want to check it on the power strip. There we go. Okay. And there's our lighted column, wires hidden all the way down inside. And now what we want to do is drill into the plate here. Now, also, you could use Technic plates with the holes in them. Put those in here, uh, which is great because then you just feed uh, the cords through. And you can feed several, several cords through. That's a good idea. I'm just going to drill through this stud to get into the bottom here so two things that i've done one thing for this front plate let's see if i can do this <laughs> i basically put a plate you can see it where it's that this is red plating to here but then this is black plating so i put a panel here that i knew i could lift off to get down into the the insides without too much trouble to be able to, to run my wiring and to drill and yada, yada, yada. So let's see if I can get that off. Um, oh, carefully. Yes, there. So oh, not too bad. Ooh, little Lego girl. Okay. So now I can get underneath here to my uh, Mills plate. Ooh, see that? And I'm one over, oh, I did it, I did it separate, so that's good. Okay, so now I want to drill this. I'm going to drill the second hole. That is ready to receive the wire. I'm going to go through there. And then I'll set that back in place there and the cord is completely underneath the city right there uh, okay well, we want it, of course to run back here so we can put it on a board back here now i did the same thing back here this is why this is off by one um uh, by one by plate because I did three here because of this little uh, gap opening. Uh, I guess this is the way this is the way this is built in the original plans. I never can remember what I've modified once I've modified it <laughs> a long time after. Okay, so well, I'm just going to pull this up. Pull these 
off. So I did. Yeah. Okay, so I left, I put these little um, two by threes on here so I'd be able to get back into here once I was working. Now, one thing I wanna show you is, okay, so a really helpful tool to have is a pipe cleaner. And I'm going to just bend a little hook and pinch it at the end, okay? Just a little tiny hook. And then I'm just going to run it through there. Voila, it's here. Um, <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to put the cord in here. And I'm not going to put the plug there. I'm just going to, I'm going to bend the, the wire. Okay, does that make sense? Can you see that? Uh, I don't want to pull on the plug. I have actually pulled these plugs off with very little pressure. So don't pull the plug off. Oop. Now I've got it looped over that thing. Hopefully, oh, just enough. Okay, so now it's coming out this back end. And one thing I'm going to do is before we get any further... I'm going to plug this in to this. There's that. And you can see we just don't have that much wiggle room um, for that. So I may have to go further up under to place the, um, place the, the strip. I would love for it to fit right there. Oh, now we can take that off. Okay. I would love for it to fit under there, right there. <clears throat> because then if you wanted to plug anything else in, you could just easily do it. But I think that's not going to be possible. <clears throat> we want to... Uh, we'll just have to see once we run this cord. Yeah, I think... That's going to need um, either, we might have to run that with two things. Yeah, that may be, what we have to do is uh, run these to a central thing and then uh, run a cord from there to there. That's probably going to be the best thing to do. Okay, but let's just worry about this one right now. So... Figure out how to take this apart. Is that it right there? Okay, that's that's that. That's that. Okay. So here is an interesting situation. So what just flew in there? Okay, those. Those two plates are holding up the escalator. And so, and I want the, the, the wire to go straight down this second row, because the first row goes into the one by whatever's, the Technic bricks. Um, so I want it to go down the second row so it clears everything. I think I'm just gonna make it easier and I'm gonna drill into this brick. Oh yeah, I can just drill into the side of this brick. Um, Oh, I forgot what I was telling you. Hold on, I can show you. It'll be much easier, much better. Okay, so here I've got this wire. I mean, I've got this that goes here. And I want this wire to go into the wall right here and then down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a one by snot brick in here instead of that brick. Okay, and then that'll be my first feed into the wall. So let's take these off. Um, this is a little ridiculous, okay, but this is what it requires. So we have to take that. 
and I'm just noticing. So there's a light back here. I'm not going to put electrics in that because there is really no need. Um, okay. Let's just see here. Oof, I hate that we have to take this whole thing apart. Well, to take it apart until there. Oh, that's a... Okay, now I don't want to forget what I'm doing here. So first it's going to go into this and down. Okay. And then it's going to go through the second hole here or the whatever this hole. And again, drill and build the little piece that's going to, you know, the way it's going to go back together so that you don't miss a step. Okay. Let's see how that's going to work. Is that right? Yes. And then it's going to be one of these. Okay, so that's the assembly that's going to fit right in there, or in there. How did I do? <laughs> uh, here. Oh, it's not attached to that. I got it, I got it, okay. Um, okay, so now I want to do one last thing, and I want to drill a hole in there, and I'm going to be very careful of this wire right there. <laughs> okay. So now this is basically going to fit, oh, we can do this through there. Urge that forward. Okay, finally. So I finally got that. I'm gonna pull all that slack out of there. Okay, and then I'm gonna plug it in, get it safe. Okay, I was trying to do that backwards. Okay, so now we have that cord and that cord run through. I just need to build my wall back up really quick. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how this works. 
Let's get one of these guys. Oh, it's already attached. Okay, so we'll plug the power into this. Okay, and we do now have a lit front light and that's that power going to it. And now the, uh, the other half of this thing is the one by two brick. It's got the little sensors on the bottom. And then I've just connected it to uh, uh, two LED lights with plugs on either end. Now this thing, I got this on uh, uh, Timu or AliExpress, I can't remember. Um, but these are really cool. And I'm gonna use a lot of them in this building. Uh, I'll just double check that I where I got them from to let you know. But basically, once we put this on the bottom of that building, let's do it this way, okay? And we set the building back down on it, it lights up, okay? Isn't that great? Boom. No wires going from floor to floor. So, that we'll worry about in a second. Oh, look, that's... Not that anybody will ever see it, but that's meant to be that brick. <laughs> so let me fix that really quick. Okay, so now I'm going to run these other lights down and across to the uh, to this panel, and we'll see how that works. I'm I'm not going to film it all just because uh, it'll be crazy. It's the same thing. I might have to show you here what we end up doing, but. Uh, Let's see how far I get. Okay, I'm gonna do this one and then this one and that one. Cool, see you in a bit. Okay, so here I am on this side and I'm gonna feed my cord through the drilled stud and I didn't pull this one out. It's kind of wonky, but doesn't matter. Oh, come on. Now I have the cord through. And I can put the base plating back. Just make sure I'm not pinching it. Yep. Okay. All this going crazy over here now. Okay. Okay, there's that. And now I'm going to run my pipe cleaner up through it. Okay, stop the madness. And the light appears on the front. Okay. Wow. So we're about an hour and a half into this now, just so you know how long it's taking in real time. An hour and a half to get those two lights and that installed. Here we go for more. Okay, so here I am. I've got these two columns uh, wired. 
You can see those wires running down behind, coming out. But the thing is, once I put them in place, okay, that one would sit there. There isn't, I mean, it is just, it's tight. I don't think there's any way for me to get that across underneath the, the mills plate. It's going to have to zigzag around these bricks and stuff. So <clears throat> same thing here. This is just, it's just a little too short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little mini plug. This is a four, four plug strip in here. Put these two plugs into this and then plug an extension cord into that and let it run all the way back to the main plate. Okay. And that'll just be like under here or whatever. So we're going to pull these up, see what we've got going on under here. Now, one thing I'm seeing already is I've got these uh, <clears throat> um, two by four bricks there. So I'm just gonna move these over. I didn't have any two by twos. And there's one directly under this thing. So I'm gonna move that as well. Annoying. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that brick off because I'm gonna drill that. I'm gonna drill this brick. Okay, and well, that should that looks like it's easy enough to come out. So I'm gonna pull this one out and just drill it on here. And which one do I need to drill? I need to drill that one. Okay, so I'm gonna drill that. It's much easier to drill the plates before installing them, but how can you know? <laughs> if you were very methodical, you could figure out your lighting scheme before you put down your mills plate, but that is not me. Okay, so that's going to go in there. through there first. Put this through there first and then we can uh, adjust those parts around it. A little bugger. Okay. We'll do that. Let's let that lay off to the side. And now we can do that. on this side so we're not going to do that yet uh, <laughs> is this the, I think we have this on the end this here looks like okay I'll go there Okay, so this, this piece should be able to go back in here. We should just be able to put that back because now we're running this way. Okay. That's not pinching. And there's that. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and install it onto this thing. Okay, so there's that one. And then let's pull up this board. How far do we have to go down? Actually, I think this is going to be one that's easier to drill through the top. Okay, now that's through. Okay. 
So now we're going to put this through there. Okay. And I'm going to feed that through there. All right. Okay, so now let's put all this back together. Oh, I should. back down there those there alright now this is going to get plugged into here copper sides up come on ok that's in there and then we're going to use this extension cord and that's going to get plugged in over here and it could go there it doesn't matter okay so that's in there and i'm just going to give it a quick test where's our main circuit board Get in there. Okay, I see them on. So now we have the two front lights lighted. Now we have the two front lights lighted. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm whispering. I get self conscious talking to myself here at my Lego studio. I need to talk louder. Okay, so let's unplug that again. And I try to do this very carefully with my edge of my fingernail. There's like a little lip you can grab. <clears throat> okay, so once again, we're going to feed it through this long channel over here. So I'm going to send my pipe cleaner up. Okay. And then I'm going to pull it back through. And this is a a 50 centimeter extension cord. Uh, I realized I needed some longer ones, so I ordered, they come in, I think 15, 30, and 50. 15, 30, and 50. All right, so now I can put this back down under here. And now there's one more light here if I wanted to, to do something like um, I mean, I have street in front of this and my, my lamp posts are here, but this one more light could be the lamp post, uh, one more socket in this thing. Um, but I have that on a different circuit. Okay. So that's going to go down there and it, you just want to try to <clears throat> maneuver the wire so that it doesn't, um, get caught in any of these studs and plates. Okay. And then, and one thing you can do is just twist it. And actually, I'm going to pull some of this back through. Have some extra up there. You saw that. Just twist it. Okay. And then I can, like, more easily tuck it up under there. Oop, wrong direction. All right, so now, sorry, the shake. Now we have that. Now the last thing I wanna do here is for our USB. Um, now just to tell you, eventually 
<clears throat> Bevins Bricks makes magnetic connectors to go between the plates, which I will put on eventually. And actually, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing is put uh, on that one extra uh, socket. I will connect that to a magnetic connector and then to the next. And then this, <clears throat> instead of this going into here, We'll have the magnetic connector here and the USB will be down the line somewhere. So I just want to put the USB through here. Okay. Just so it's sticking out the back cleanly. So I'm putting it through the, uh, the Technic pinholes. And plug that back in. Come on. Okay, so now we're going to fit that back into there. Lay that down. Get the extra wire. You can't see any of what I'm doing because of my hands, but... Let's just close that off. And then this middle section, I have a little Lego doormat back here. Okay, and then that. And now we have one cord coming out of the um, modular and I've got all four lights lit on the front. And now oh, I need to put this back and this back. This goes down. Or does that go down there? That goes down. Okay. All squeezed in nice and tight. And now I just have to put this back together. Okay. I'm going to turn this off. Okay. So now we have the first floor uh, facade lit and the magnetic connector installed. And I just want to see if we turn these lights off. Yeah, you can see a little glow and ambiance. Very nice. As much as I hate part twos, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to cut this video into two parts. At least in this part one, I've covered most of the basics, and I'll just continue those on the next two floors. Thank you so much for watching this long video. Please like and subscribe. From Belleville, this is Jstar saying let's get lit.